This is MeTV, Columbus's home for memorable entertainment television. That's memorable. That's me. MeTV. Comet. Watch Comet on 53.3, Spectrum 988, and WOW 133. Today. Wow, Central Ohio, you did it again. Thanks for supporting the ABC6 Toys for Tots Drive. Your generosity packed this truck full of new toys. Fulfilling the needs of children and families this holiday season. We are ABC6 News. And we are on your side. <laughs> Emotions running high. Safety over politics. I like that. Protesters coming together against a plan to merge emergency services between Liberty Township and Delaware County. Well, I'm hoping that our uh, council members will listen. The reason those fighting the plan say it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> Big Ten champs once again. The Bucks winning big in Indy. Now they're coming up roses. We've got Urban Meyer breaking down a turbulent but successful season. Caught in the act. Crooks ripping off expensive cell phones from businesses across Columbus. The one thing you can do tonight to help police get this crew off the streets. And we're tracking the forecast. A spring-like day today, but temps taking a downward turn to start the week. We'll break it all down. Now, ABC6 News at 6, on your side. Priests accused of sexual assault, exposed by a recently released blacklist. Have you ever molested a child? Forcing victims and the blamed to relive decades-old horror. It took away everything that I am. Now a local priest confesses his innocence to ABC6 News. The people who have trusted me over the years still trust me. Revealing injustice he claims to have experienced at the hands of the Catholic Church. There are two sides to every story, and we're not backing down until we get the truth. Monday at 11. Happy holidays from all of us at Good Day Columbus. Now at Menard. Caught in the act. Police calling on your help tonight to catch a couple of crooks caught on camera ripping off expensive cell phones from around Columbus. Steve Levine has deep 10 this morning. Weekdays starting at 425 a.m. From Central Ohio's news leader, this is 10 TV News. The decisions have been made and the Buckeyes did not make it to the college football playoffs this year. There's a lot still to talk about. Instead, they are heading to the Rose Bowl. Thank you for joining us here for 10 TV News at 630. I'm Scott Light alongside Dom Tiberier. So we're beginning with sports and Dom, this isn't, ex you know, the overall goal of what the team wanted to accomplish. Still, or forecast, definitely a nice day out there for any kind of holiday celebrations, but oh boy, it changes tomorrow. Yeah, per sports, a lot going on today. We will check your forecast one more time. Stay right there. 10 TV's Digital Broadcast Center is sponsored by Lindsay Honda. local kids lasting memories with the Big Ten TV toy drive in the Salvation Army. Donate a toy at area collection bins or at our one day toy parade. The Big Ten TV toy drive. Because every child deserves a happy, happy holiday. holiday. Happy Hanukkah from all of us at 10 TV. Doppler 10 weather bug is sponsored by Kemba Financial Credit Union. A better way to bank. And the debate know, has begun. Too far away. We'll see you back here <laughs> tonight at 11. Angela Ann and Pete Scalia, only on 10 This Morning. This is the final... Launching a special tradition. No matter what they're experiencing in the current situation, they're getting to have a little bit of the holidays, too. A magical display for the holidays, making an impact for teens who need it most. Fox 28 News at 10 starts now. 
From Central Ohio's news leader, this is 10 TV News. Pastors caught in the crossfire when an armed robber gets into a shootout with deputies at an IHOP. A deputy was shot in the process, too. Thank you for joining us tonight for 10 TV News at 11. I'm Scott Light. That now, ABC 6 News at 11 on your side. And we do start tonight with the forecast. It was a beautiful day outside today. A nice break from the wind and, of course, the rain. But do not expect this great weather to stick around. Rachel, what are we looking like to start the work week? Yeah, I think we could use a few more days of what we had today. But unfortunately, uh, it all is quiet. Download the Storm Team 4 weather app. From the station that is local for you, NBC4 at 11 starts now. Say goodbye to that spring-like weather. After a one-day hiatus, winter weather is coming back to central Ohio. Thank you. The program, the program will accept will applications, accept from, applications households from households seeking, seeking heating assistance, heating assistance, assistance on, a on a first come, first, first come, serve basis, basis from basis December 30th, from December 30th 2008. 2008. It was apparently doing that at the edge of a cliff. Well, as many 18 fire, as many as 18 firefighter. Oh, look at you kids. Hey, oh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mrs. Claus did an excellent job on these. I think a little Christmas magic on it would help. We'll just give it a little toss. Ping. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh. <laughs> that hurts. All your loved ones will have a wonderful and joyous Christmas. Aww. And I guarantee you that. Make sure you bring tons of joy all over the world, all right? Happy holidays and Merry Christmas from the station that's local for you. See all the Steves. Ah! On a new season of Family Feud. Monday at 7 on the CW Columbus. When finger a favorite. Monday at 6 on the CW Columbus. There's some... From the Terrorism Alert Desk in Washington, I'm Lindsay Mastis. Belgium's intelligence agency is... All right. Man, yesterday was gorgeous, wasn't it? We got to six... You're watching Good Day Columbus on ABC6. So he kept his spirit and he kept his sense of humor right till the very end, but his passing, George, was very gentle and very peaceful. Remembering 41, former President George H.W. Bush will be making his final trip to Washington, D.C. today. More on... Thank you so much for waking up with NBC4 today. I'm Monica Day. And I'm Matt Barnes. Good to have you with us. We obviously had great weather here Beautiful. yesterday. Beautiful. Good day, Columbus. We'll be right back. We're clear. Hey, down here. I've only got a few seconds to tell you about, well, me. I've got three lines of information so you can plan your day three times faster. Plus, I conveniently keep the biggest districts always on. And as soon as a new closing comes in, I immediately pop it up. See, there's another one. I love my job. Stand by. Spend less time waiting for school closings on ABC6, Fox 28, and me. This message is for right now. The public begins to say goodbye to former President George H.W. Bush, the other former presidents and first ladies who plan to attend his funeral service this week. And good Monday morning. Thanks for starting your day with us here. Just before 5 o'clock, I'm Pete Scalia. And I'm Angela Ann. Also ahead here on 10, a very heated debate to keep firefighters and emergency workers. The two big... Good time. Be a little time before we get on to the riverboat. Be a half an hour. Uh -huh. Maverick, part of the good guys at Sunrise. Today, starting at 6 a.m., 5 central, right here on H&I. I am. This is H&I. That can't possibly be as poignant as it sounded. Your home for captivating, action-packed dramas. Fascinating. Say hi to H&I. 
Trust the station that's local for Yellow Springs, local for Beaver Creek, local for Dayton. Trust the team at the center of it all. Two News, working for you. Right back on five on two with our usual top five story recap for those just joining a special welcome to you top story number one of course uh, the tribute continuing to former president George H.W. Bush being from the WHIO Broadcast Center in high definition this is News Center 7 keep your hands up no race for nothing and you're watching Video of the Moment. Police in Kentucky arrested one of four people accused of murdering eight family members in Pike County. I'm James Brown. I'm Cheryl McHenry. Tomorrow, Billy Wagner III will go in front of a judge on 22 charges connected to the 2016 murders of the Roden family. And do it under Kentucky public records laws. At the shadows grow long, the sun sinks low, and the lights go up in the Miami Valley. As you settle in after a long day, News Center 7 is just getting started. Super Heights firefighters. James oh. Brown, Kate Bartley, and a team of journalists are working to bring you accurate information on the stories that impact your life, your family, and your community. So as you prepare for what tomorrow will bring, keep up with the things that matter with James Brown and Kate Bartley news. on News Center 7 at 11. It's coverage you can count on. That's just innovation. Tracker 7, the mobile weather center that allows our team of expert meteorologists to be anywhere in the community. Storm Center 7 is weather coverage you can count on. News Center 7, more local news than any other station. Cybersecurity experts are warning a phishing email. WHIO TV is an equal opportunity employer. Don't miss you. WHIO TV is a Cox Media Group station. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. That's just innovation. Far too many of our neighbors don't have enough to eat. Join us as we search for answers on Your Voice, Your Future Town Hall, Hunger in the Miami Valley. December 4th on My TV Dayton. Turn. Now on Fox 45 News at 630, remembering a president. This is a live look from Washington, D.C. as the nation prepares to say goodbye to George H.W. Bush. And caught on camera, fire sparks inside of a Huber Heights home. Why firefighters are praising technology tonight. But first, new dash cam video tonight of an officer involved shooting. This is video from the Huber Heights Police Department showing officers responding to Friday's shootout in Clay Township. Good evening, I'm Megan O'Rourke. And I'm Adam Arrow. Investigators say this all started after a man fired at the Clay Township Police Department. Then this is Fox 45 News at 630. Take Fox 45 News with you wherever you go, on your smartphone or tablet. Get access to breaking news, your first morning weather, and your on-time traffic. It's all at your fingertips. Fox 45 News on the move, fueled by the convenience stores of Speedway. The center of a Washington. It's 7 o'clock. Do you know what your child is doing online? Two News on Dayton CW knows that protecting children is a priority. Kids online are exposed to sexual materials, solicitations, threats, and harassment, but we can help protect them. The Ohio Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, the Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office, and Two News on Dayton CW have launched the CyberSafe Parent Program. Each week, we're working for you. Go to WDTN.com to see the Two News on Dayton CW CyberSafe Parent Program. You're watching Dayton CW, your Dayton station. You're watching Think TV on air and online. 30. Well, I've got to run. Yeah, run right into that brick wall out there. <laughs>
Meet Nathan. Meet Nathan Edwards. He was born and raised right here in the Miami Valley. Vandalia, to be exact. Go Aviators. Talk about a character. He's always making us laugh with his impressions on set. <laughs> Nathan and his wife are raising their child in his family home in Dayton. And I inherited two new members, my trash pandas. Nathan is awesome to work with. He's the guy that brings a smile to your face while delivering the news you need. Get your day started with us. We're Fox 45 News in the morning. Your 10 o'clock guarantee brought to you by Voss Auto Network. Built on trust, driven by integrity. A new proposal to stop the wrecking ball from crashing into Good Samaritan Hospital. Premier's actions are just wrong. They are the opposite of charity. The accusation against Premier Health and the consequences if this bill passes. That this is uh, just a great compliment and acknowledgement of, of his dream. One of our very own turning on the lights at Clifton Mill. Why tonight was extra special and the national award just announced. Plus, remembering former President George H.W. Bush. He kept us flying high and challenged us to fly higher still. The legacy he leaves behind. And a Butler County teen in court after a deadly prom night crash. Her emotional plea in front of the parents of the victims. Then male birth control one step closer to reality. How it works. And our next weather maker, chances for snow. When we see our next flakes and when we have the chance for some accumulation. First tonight, the fight to save Good Samaritan Hospital is now a bipartisan effort. Republican and Democratic representatives coming together to try to prevent the demolition of Good Sam Hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Adam Errol. And I'm Megan O'Rourke. A new bill is looking to allow cities the first clue that could... A new proposal to stop the wrecking ball from crashing into Good Samaritan Hospital. Premier's actions are just wrong. They are the opposite of charity. The accusation against Premier Health and the consequences if this bill passes. That this is uh, just a great compliment and acknowledgement of, of his dream. One of our very own turning on the lights at Clifton Mill. Why tonight was extra special and the national award just announced. Plus, remembering former President George H.W. Bush. He kept us flying high and challenged us to fly higher still. The legacy he leaves behind. Then, male birth control one step closer to reality. How it works. And our next weather maker, chances for snow. When we see our next flakes and when we have the chance for some accumulation. First tonight, the fight to save Good Samaritan Hospital is now a bipartisan effort. Republican and Democratic representatives coming together to try to prevent the demolition of Good Samaritan Hospital. Good evening. You're not the one. Next Steve. Tomorrow at 4 on ABC 22. Now at Menards. Watch ABC 22 on the go. Always live streaming on mobile with the WKEF ABC 22 app. Take ABC 22 News with you wherever you go, on your smartphone or tablet. Get access to breaking news, your first morning weather, and your on-time traffic. It's all at your fingertips. ABC 22 News on the move. Fueled by the convenience stores of Speedway. Hey! Tuesday morning, we're showing you how to make a holiday treat for your kids. It's called Snow Slime, and it's sure to be a hit in your house this season. And we are back below average for the next several mornings. How many extra layers the kids will need? And a look ahead to the weekend and the best day to put your Christmas lights up. On the next Family Feud. You're watching Think TV on air and online. You're watching Think TV on air and online. Buongiorno, I'm Lydia. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News Today. Now at 4.30, the last of the four suspects in the Pike County shootings is expected in court today. The charges the Wagner family patriarch will have to answer to. Plus, what new dash cam video released reveals about an officer-involved shooter. All right, up and at him. Here we go. It's Tuesday, December 4th, and thank you so much for starting your day with us. I'm John Seidel. And I'm Dana Smith. And, John, it is just a little cool out there this morning. Just, just a, little, a little cold. Just a little bit. It's December. <laughs> That's good. From the WHIO Broadcast Center in high definition, this is News Center 7. 
Good Tuesday morning to you. We are waking up to a cold start here across the Miami Valley. The first. This is Me TV, Miami Valley's home for memorable entertainment television. This is WHIO Classic Television. From the WHIO Broadcast Center in high definition, this is News Center 7. Visitor, welcome back. Good morning, Rick. If you'd like to speak with Dr. Sutton, if you'd like to join the conversation in any way, give us a call, 866-578-0903. Email us, soi at wcpn.org, or tweet us. We are at Sound of Ideas. Riddled with bullets. It's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Several homes hit by gunfire. The inches, one of those bullets came to hitting a sleeping baby. Trouble at the door. Don't think it won't happen to you. Burglars try to kick in a home's door with the owners still inside. Why these burglars picked the wrong home. From Warren Central to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I owe it all to me. Hoosier Ryan Murphy talks about his long and difficult road to stardom. From Indiana's very own, this is CBS 4 News at 11. Live Guardian radar shows snow showers still moving through central Indiana tonight. Now, there'll mainly be light accumulations on windshields, maybe some grassy areas. Let's take a live look now at our drive cam on US 31. This is near Greenwood. It's showing the roads are clear but wet. We've seen. You're watching ABC 13, news coverage you can count on. This is ABC 13 News at 11. We begin tonight with some breaking news in Lynchburg. Police tell for your forecast first. WRBL News 3 First Alert Weather. Good afternoon. Fall weather at its finest. Looking really nice. 66, very comfortable. Humidity levels down and a little in all that coming up right now. Your midday news on your side. This is News 3 Midday. Afternoon, we want to thank You're watching Sunrise on KYMA News 11, where news comes first. Good morning, it's Tuesday, October 30th, 2018. I'm Ivani Villalobos. And I'm Lee Keller. Thanks for joining us on Sunrise this morning. Here's the 16 WAPT News at 6 starts right now. The one to watch. This is 16 WAPT News, live at 6. Yes, indeed, a live look outside at I-55 at High Street. It is 6 o'clock this morning. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm Earl Lawrence. Book Laser joins us now with your weather well, forecast. is coming up. The news at 9 on North Mississippi CW4 starts now. Right now at 9, into the storm, meteorologist Jacob Dickey gives us a look at what he saw during Hurricane Michael. And we'll tell you why. Prime News at 7. Your news starts now. Good evening, I'm John Mercer, and welcome to Prime News at 7. Emily Casulo is off tonight. A vehicle fire on I-75 as the interstate partly shut down. It's